Greetings friends, this is Jason Yeldell, the creator of the Excel Point of Sale. And today we wanted to showcase how easy and fast it is that you can set up the Excel Point of Sale for your business. We recently received an email from a potential client stating that they have a Chinese restaurant, but they want to know if the Excel Point of Sale would work for them and how easy it would be to set up for the products that they wish to sell. So this video is a response to that email, but it will help numerous people to understand how easy it is to use Excel point of sale. So in this particular example, we're gonna set up the Excel point of sale in less than five minutes so that it's fully functional for a Chinese restaurant. So to get started, we're gonna name our business. We're gonna to go to the admin settings and select our user ID and log in. And now we can set up the name of our store. Let's just call it Asian Bistro. And now we can also set up an image that represents our Asian Bistro. I happen to have an image saved on my machine, but you can browse to any image that you have saved on your local drives or some sort of SharePoint, doesn't matter. Any image that you have on your PC, you can browse to it for Excel point of sale. And I'll go right to that location. So let's go here to pictures. And let's just type in Asian, there's my image. And we, there we go. We can see that we're almost done setting up our POS and we're only in a minute and a half on the time scale. So now we want to actually add products that we want to sell as part of our Chinese restaurant. This is very easy with Excel point of sale. We just click on add product, choose our user ID again, because only administrators can perform this function. And now let's assume I already have a folder set up where I have some images of the different dishes and food items that I want to sell. Now, of course, I can add items one by one by typing in the name, such as fried rice, entering a price, browsing for an image. But even better, with Excel Point of Sale, you can auto-upload items if you have them already saved as part of a folder on your machine. So I'll click this icon to browse to a particular folder location. And there's my folder. I just have a folder preset up called Asian Bistro. And it just has a bunch of images within it. So we can select OK. And now we can see the actual JPEGs that I had housed within that folder such as broccoli and beef, chicken egg roll, et cetera, et cetera. These are the items that we're gonna automatically import into the Excel point of sale. So I'll select save slash okay. It actually performs some manipulations in the background and we are done folks. We're at two and a half minutes in and our POS is now set up. The only thing that we could tweak if we wanted to is the prices of the items. The prices are auto generated when you auto upload, but we can tweak them because we're just using Excel. So let's say that our chicken egg roll, we want that to be $2.99 and our Pacific shrimp, we want that to be, let's say $19.99. That's an expensive dish. We'll now just set save, file save, because we're using Excel. We're at three minutes in and we're ready now to accept orders. So now we'll just relaunch the application and we can take a look at our POS. Amazingly, we're done, we're ready to take uh, orders, we're ready and open for business. So someone comes into your establishment, they want some chow mein, you'll select on new sale, choose your user ID, and now we can take a look at our POS that was automatically generated by the Excel point of sale. This is amazing, folks. So now let's say someone wants, I said chow mein. Let's select chow mein, we can see that selected. And let's also say that they wanted some orange chicken and some fried rice. We can see those items are automatically added to the sale. Now, another thing that I never mentioned before about Excel point of sale, we're looking at the images, but let's say you don't have images. You don't want to go through the process of finding JPEGs to represent your items. You can just choose show product text and it will just convert them all to text. This is amazing, we're using Excel, it automates the process for us. We didn't have to buy any fancy software. I'm using a Surface Pro 4 that I already had. I didn't buy it, um, let's say, for my business. It's an existing machine that I already had, but I'm using the Excel point of sale to get the job done for me um, so that I'm able to run the day-to-day -day intake of my business. Now, if we wanted to switch back to the images, we just click the link that says Show Product Images. And immediately, we can toggle back and forth. So let's say we also want some string bean chicken. We can do that. We see the price is $21.37. They gave us $21.36, rather. They gave us a $100 bill. We see their change, and we can check out. We did all of this in less than five minutes' time. We actually set up with the POS at about a minute and a half, two minutes, but actually just created my first order after setting up the POS in less than five minutes.